So I'm Andre Robichaud with the Infrastructure Health and Safety Association and we're going to look at uh, hand washing stations and how to wash your hands out on site when uh, say plumbing is not available. Alright so when I need to wash my hands I've made this setup. I've seen lots of different setups on sites as long as we have a quantity of water, soap, paper towels we can wash our hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn the tap on. Now, because I have a limited supply of water, I'm not gonna turn the tap on full blown, just enough to get a bit of a stream of water going here. There we go. Just enough to get water on the hands. Okay, now we give a shot of soap here, and we can work up a nice lather. Get a good lather going there. Don't forget to get into the back of your hands. Right, scrub all around there, get up your wrist. Okay. Get in between the fingers. Okay. Scrub each individual finger. Scrape down palms there, give that a good scrubbing, get all the grime and such off. And now it's just a matter of rinsing that off. Okay, make sure we get all the soap, grime and such rinsed off completely there. Okay. And once that's done, leave the water running for now. Because the handle of the, the jug can be contaminated. Get some paper towels here. Dry my hands off. Once I'm done that. I can turn off the tap, okay, and dispose of the paper towels in the garbage. All right, so that kind of wraps up the hand washing technique out on the construction site. And remember, when soap and water is not available, the hand sanitizer should be used. Thank you.